Hi, I'm Dr. Kara Stewart, an animal science professor from Purdue University. In this short video, I would like to discuss with you the basic biology of colostrum in pigs. Colostrum is the first milk produced by mammals. This is a milk rich in digestible nutrients, which are critical, critical for the development of the young. In most mammals, colostrum is synthesized just prior to birth of the young so that when they're born, colostrum is present for them to consume. In sows, colostrum is produced about one week prior to farrowing and is only produced for the first 24 to 36 hours following the birth of the first piglet. Starting about 24 hours after the birth of the first piglet, the composition of the milk will begin to change. We call this milk transient milk, which will last until about day three into lactation. After day three, the milk composition will typically stabilize in the sow, and this is what we call mature milk, which will continue to be produced until the piglets are weaned, which is around 21 days of age in commercial production. One other important difference between colostrum and mature milk is the volume or the amount of them produced. The sow actually determines how much colostrum to produce, and it does not appear to be associated with the number of piglets in her litter. So piglets born into very large litter sizes will be sharing a set amount of colostrum, which effectively decreases the total intake of individual piglets. Mature milk is produced in response to the suckling stimulus from the piglets. So if the sow is nursing more piglets, then the suckling stimulus will be stronger and she'll produce more mature milk to feed her young and meet their needs. Let's look at how the composition of the milk changes over time. We will start with the energy content of milk, which you can see increases as the milk transitions from colostrum into mature milk. Piglets tend to spend a lot of time sleeping in the first few days of life, and they become much more active as they grow. Therefore, the energy in the milk also increases. Another reason for this is that the milk composition changes from higher protein content to higher fat in mature milk. One gram of fat provides more calories than a gram of protein. The sugar content also increases. The main sugar found in milk is lactose, which you can see is lower in colostrum and higher in the transient and mature milk. Protein is the one mac macronutrient that is much higher in colostrum and lower in mature milk. And this is because the colostrum contains proteins in the form of antibodies, which decrease in quantity in mature milk. Let's talk for a minute about the importance of these antibodies. The two main antibodies found in sow colostrum are the immunoglobulins IgG and IgA. IgG provides the piglet with immunity to disease while IgA protects the piglet's intestines from pathogens. So both work together to prevent the piglets from becoming sick after birth. Without these antibodies, the piglets are very susceptible to disease and have a low chance of survival. This is because the piglets do not receive adequate antibodies from their mother's blood during pregnancy. So the piglet really relies on this colostrum in order to survive. There are challenges though with getting every piglet to drink enough colostrum. The first reason is that the amount of antibodies in the colostrum decreases starting with the birth of the first piglet. Here in the bar graph, you can see that the amount of IgG is significantly lowered by six hours after the birth of the first piglet and almost gone by 24 hours. So piglets born late in the birth order or to sows that have a very long farrowing duration may not have access to colostrum with high levels of antibodies. Another challenge comes from getting piglets to drink enough colostrum. Piglets need to consume more than 200 milliliters in the first 24 hours for survival. Piglets typically nurse within 30 minutes of birth and nurse frequently during the first few hours after birth. However, weak or chilled piglets may not go to the teat and drink as many times in the first 24 hours as the larger and warm piglets, which will reduce the total volume of colostrum they consume and they likely drink the lower quality colostrum produced after the birth of the first piglet. While colostrum's main role is in survival of the piglet, it also contains many other ingredients that can impact the development of the young. We call these ingredients bioactive factors, and they are things like hormones and growth factors that play roles in the final maturation of internal organs, brain development, growth, and reproduction. 
Very little is known about the bioactive factors in colostrum of livestock. But formula-fed versus breastfed humans have been studied for years and found to have differences in their infant growth rates, their immune function, metabolism, and risks of becoming diabetic. There are likely roles for these bioactive factors in pigs as they develop beyond lactation. Several studies in pigs have shown that piglets that have lower colostrum intake have decreased weight gain to weaning, which continues until market, as well as a delayed puberty and lower piglets born in their first four litters. This is an exciting area of research that I believe we will learn more and more about over the coming years. In summary, colostrum is vital to piglet survival and we must work in the barns to ensure that every piglet is drinking colostrum as early as possible after birth to get the best quality and highest quantity of colostrum. Additionally, colostrum has many unknown compounds in it that aid in the development of the young. More research is needed to understand what these compounds are and what their roles are in setting the developmental trajectory of piglets. This is part of the Improving Pig Survivability Project and is funded by the National Pork Board and the Foundation for Food and Agricultural Research. The goal of this project is to reduce the overall mortality within the U.S. commercial swine industry.